This is a short tutorial video how to get these terrain assets work in your UEFN project. So this is the zip file that you download and what you do is first launch UEFN and create a new project or maybe if you already have one you can just use that. I'm just gonna create a new project for this video. Once this is loaded up you either choose your own uh, project or I'm gonna create a new one, just terrain tutorial. This is the new project, it's completely empty as you can also see here. Now what you do is you open the zip and then open that project in your explorer. It's usually in documents, fortnite project and then it should be just right here. Then you want to search for the content folder, open that and then just drag and drop the folder inside there. As you can see it showed up in UFM. Now there is a possibility it might be empty. So what you gotta do is just restart UFM. Once it's restarted and your project is back open again. The models and assets should be in here. Now they might not have a thumbnail, but it's fine. Should the materials for the models not load and be just the default grid texture, or your editor crashes once you start dragging a model, it means that there is an issue with the material collection. There are two things you can do. You can go into materials, material functions and look for fn underscore material parameter collection. To duplicate that material collection and then delete the original one and replace its references with the newly duplicated collection. Make sure beforehand that duplicate collection is saved, otherwise the editor will just crash. If a redirector shows up, you can simply right click it and click update the redirector references. This method is easier but more unreliable as you can see. The other method you can do is again duplicate the material collection. Then right click the original one and open up the reference viewer. Now replace all of its references with the newly duplicated collection by hand. This might take a while, but it's more reliable as you can see. Some assets also may say they are references by the collection, but they're only re referenced indirectly. You can ignore them. Should you still have a problem despite that you can tell me about it in the comments and I will help. And there you go, the materials now function. Originally I was planning on also showing how to paint them like I did in this example POV, but due to some problems I can't show how to do that just yet. The general concept would be to create a painted level with these models inside a normal Unreal project and then migrate that level into UEFN. 
have fun, thanks for watching.